What's up guys, I'm DK Wrestler and in today's video it is part 2 of opening up packs of the Harry Potter Funko Series 1 NFTs. So let's get right to it. If you have not seen part 1 of this video yet, definitely check it out because within opening 3 packs from that first part, we actually did barely well. I'm not going to give anything away, but now in this second part, we will be opening up 3 more packs and then showing off how close we would have been to completing the royalty and basically doing an overview of what we have open but like I mentioned if you have not seen part one yet definitely check it out before viewing this video but nonetheless let's get right to it all righty so here we go guys we got three more packs from the initial six that we had and we got ourselves some pretty low min numbers below the 10,000 range, including this pack number 71 that I discussed about in the last part, which I don't think is gonna have any significance to having a higher chance of getting redeemables, obviously, but thought it was really cool that we have a pack that's lower than even number 100. So I definitely wanna save that for last, but let's definitely open up this first pack of the video, that being number 8,108. Will we get any redeemables? Let's see. All right, a little bit of lag there, but at least we didn't have to wait for everyone to open up their packs there. They're racing for everyone to open up their packs. So let's see what the very first item is of this first pack of the video. So we got our common Rita Skeeter, a common Draco Malfoy, a common Draco Malfoy. Again, I hate getting those duplicates, especially back to back. An uncommon Rita Skeeter. A rare Cedric Diggory with Bubblehead Air Mask. A common Peter Pettigrew. An uncommon Peter Pettigrew. Can we get a rare now to kind of do a trifecta? A rare, it was a rare though. Uh, Ron Weasley at the Quidditch Cup. A common Albus Dumbledore. A rare Freddy Funko as Death Eater. An uncommon Hermione Granger at Yule Ball Dance. A common Hungarian Horntail. A rare Fleur Delacour. A common Grindelo. An uncommon Ron Weasley at Quidditch Cup. An uncommon Rita Skeeter. And what looks to be the final card of this pack is an epic Hermione Granger at the Yule Ball Dance. So taking a quick overview of this pack, we started off with three commons, an uncommon, a rare, common, uncommon, rare, common, rare, uncommon. This is a weird like back and forth of different rarities. I kind of like that, but we did end off on a strong note here, uh, not a redeemable, but of course we ended off with an epic, which obviously epics are good if you're trying to get that royalty completed, which of course the Freddy Funko as Death Eater is a pretty decent royalty. And here we go, pack number 1,920 out of 31,250. Let's see if we can open up this pack without any disruptions also. All right, here we go. Loving the card designs, like I mentioned in the first part with the whole sign right here. So let's see what we have here. A rare Freddy Funko's Death Eater, which I believe this may be now the third time overall between both parts that we've gotten this card, I believe. I could be wrong, though, but I know we've gotten it at, at least twice, though. An uncommon Ron Weasley at Quidditch Cup. A common Person, A common Mad-Eye Moody. A rare Mad-Eye Moody. A common Fleur Delacour with Bubblehead Air Mask. An uncommon Draco Malfoy. A common Peter Pettigrew. A rare Peter Pettigrew. Where was this in the last pack where we had common, uncommon, and then rare? That would have been awesome if we got it at that point, but it's funny how we gotten uh, those rarities so far with this. A rare Fleur Delacour with Bubblehead Air Mask. An uncommon Ron Weasley at Yule Ball. I feel like we've gotten this card quite a bit. I know obviously you get a lot of commons and uncommons. It's about like literally a 50% chance of getting them, but getting that same one is just a little rough in my opinion. An uncommon Cedric Diggory. At least this one, I don't think we've ever gotten. So at least that one's different. A rare Ron Weasley at Quidditch Cup. 
a common Grindelow, which I know, I believe, I don't even think we've ever had a Grindelow Funko Pop by itself. I could be wrong though, but I know I believe the Grindelow is a part of that Harry Potter Pop that is the Grail, which would be insane if we could pull this off. A common Hermione Granger at the Yule Ball, an uncommon Albus Dumbledore, and what looks to be already the last card of this pack, a rare Victor Crumb with shark head. So this pack wasn't entirely the greatest in my opinion. Uh, the best we gotten were those rares. There was quite a bit though. It may be the worst pack we've opened up of the six thus far, but at least we still have one more pack to go. And of course that pack is the one that I've been teasing throughout both parts that is pretty insane that we got something less than 100 for the mid number. Number 71 out of the 31,250 for both standard and premium. So maybe because of how low this mint number is, we may have some good luck. I'm not too sure, but nonetheless, I mean, let's hope for that good luck. Maybe this is where we'll pull off a grail. That'd be pretty insane, but let's open up this pack. <laughs> There we go. It took a little bit for it to load there, but nonetheless, let's see what we get in this final pack here. Will we get any redeemables? Will we get a ton of epics? I'm not too sure. Let's hope we do get a redeemable so that way uh, we can end this off on a high note. Although in the last part, we did pretty good. So, I mean, obviously, if you already seen that first part, you know that we had pulled some redeemables. So regardless of whether we get redeemables or not within this part, our streak still continues because we got at least some redeemables as terms to uh, this drop. So let's see what we got here. And we got ourselves an uncommon Peter Pettigrew, a common Cedric Diggory, a common Hungarian Horntail, a rare Grindelow, something a little bit new, that's cool, an uncommon Mad-Eye Moody, a common Freddy Funko as Death Eater, a uncommon Ron Weasley at Yule Ball. I feel like we've gotten pretty much almost the amount of a standard pack already uh, with just this card alone. A common Mad-Eye Moody. An uncommon Albus Dumbledore. An uncommon Hermione Granger. A common Fleur Delacour. A rare Albus Dumbledore. An uncommon Ron Weasley at Quidditch Cup. A common Rita Skeeter. A common, or sorry, uncommon Ron Weasley at Yule Ball. An uncommon Mad-Eye Moody and what may be the final card of this entire two-part series is an uncommon Draco Malfoy. Oh, uh, it kind of sucks that in this second part, we did not get any redeemables, at least we did in the first part, but like all of the NFT videos I do, let's check out the redemption tracker and show off exactly how close we would have been of completing that royalty set, since I don't think we would have within even the six packs, and see what we got in terms to redeemables at least. All right, so as terms to the redeemables, we of course did not get the royalty set, we got two legendaries, which you guys would have seen in the first part of this video, and then unfortunately did not get the grail. But as turns to the track progress for the royalty set, we did complete within the six packs we've opened in both parts, 64.42% of the royalty, which this consists of 27 out of 39 of the commons, which we did get quite a bit of duplicates of different uh, cards, like the Mad-Eye Moody right here. There's four of them right there so that's a little too much then for the uncommons we got 19 out of 29 once again i want to see the official number five five ron weasleys at the uh quidditch world cup i believe that is that is absolutely insane in my opinion then we got 17 out of 21 of the rares, which is actually pretty crazy. I didn't expect there to be almost the entire set of rares completed uh, between both of the sets. So that is pretty cool to see here. And there are a couple of duplicates, actually Mad-Eye Moody with three of them. And then we got ourselves the epics here, which we have ourselves 
four out of 15. So that's pretty decent. And then as terms to the redeemables here, uh, as of the recording of this video, the grail is going for 477 USDC for the currency right there. So that's quite a bit of money. Then for the legendaries, which we did get a couple, we did get the Victor Crumb with Shark Head, which is pretty cool that we did get that. We didn't get the Mer Person, which I was hoping to get. The Hungarian Horntail we didn't get, uh, which, yeah, that was a little bit disappointing because that one looked cool. But we did get the Fleur Delacour with the Bubblehead Air Mask. And then we did not get Cedric Diggory. But nonetheless, uh, two redeemables is still pretty decent. And with that, we were able to continue our streak. But anyways, guys, that is going to be the end of this video. And if you enjoyed both parts of the openings of the Funko NFTs for Harry Potter, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I guess I'll say the same thing as I did with the previous video. What is your favorite Harry Potter movie? And did you have any good luck as terms of opening up any redeemables? But anyways, thank you for watching this video and hope to see you guys next time. Next time. One, two, three, I'm out of here.